Welcome back to Teach My Kids Maths. In my previous video, I was showing you how to do multiplication using the column method. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work out the answers to the questions I left you. If you missed the video, I'll leave a link in the description below. Click on it to find the questions and a step-by-step -step guide on how to multiply. Okay, let's begin. The first question was 125 times 4. So we start by multiplying the units, then the tens, and then the hundreds. So we do 4 times 5 is 20. We place our 0 here and we need to carry the 2. You can put the 2 up here or if you wish to, you can put it down below. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So we put our 0 in this column and we need to carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So our answer to 125 times 4 is 500. The next sum was 383 times 2. Again, we begin by multiplying the units first, then the tens, then the hundreds. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 8 is 16. So we place the 6 in the tens column and we carry the 1. You can put it underneath if you want to. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So the answer to 383 times 2 is 766. Remember to always put your numbers in neatly and in the columns. Our next sum was 507 times 4. 4 times 7 4 times 7 is 28 507 times 4 4. 4 times 7 is 28. We put our 8 in the units column and we're going to carry the 2. 4 times nothing is nothing plus the 2 we carried is 2. And finally, 4 times 5 is 20. So our answer to 507 times 4 is 2028. Our final sum is 430 times 3. So we begin with 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. So the answer to the final sum is 1290. Feel free to go back to the other video to see how to work out multiplication sums step by step. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, remember to like and subscribe below. And I'll see you again soon for our next Teach My Kids Maths video.